It's been an incredible 60 year journey at Sipla and we would love to hear you know how this journey has been Doc are you proud of where Sipla is today I think Sipla has done remarkably well I'll give you a very interesting story in this growth and why I'm so proud what Sipla has achieved and what if father would have been alive how happy he would have been to see Sipla's position and what not today in 1971 72 when we were when the patent laws changed in India uh, we were ranked number 56 in India when I joined the Sipla in 1960 Our turnover was 50 lakhs a year. When father died in 1972, our turnover was 1.6 crores, and we were ranked 56 in the country. Then over the years, in the uh, early 2000, we were number one. Even today, as a standalone company in India, we would be number one. So that has been a tremendous achievement of not only me but of the entire Sipla team, both past and present. And I think we should all put in a word of gratitude to all. The the employees of sipla over the years who've contributed to this i've always believed that no one man can do everything it has to be a joint team effort and that But i'm very happy to see that that is going to continue in the future so doc what is your vision for sipla over the next 85 years i think the vision we have to be is not turnover is we should be sustainable and adaptable to the changing scenario that is very important so doc on this 85 year momentous occasion what is the one message that you want to give to every supplier around the world i have always given the message that is the sipla mission statement that what is important for a company is not its fiscal benefits but its role in healthcare and how to benefit society in general i think that's very important if we can be of benefit to society and i think and all the employees should be very proud and happy that how many lives in the past we have saved in africa how in the area inhalation therapy we have helped and improved the quality of life of millions of indians over the years we should plod along we should try and partner more companies to bring in their new products to india again we should fight that there should be no monopoly that india should benefit from the latest drugs that are available abroad we should partner with the government in india and with other governments if they want to produce their own drugs i i think one has to mix business acumen with a humanitarian approach to medicine after all your book that you've just launched is caring for life in fact it could have been labeled saving life that we are in the business of saving lives improving the quality of uh, people who are suffering and thereby it's a very very important role that sipla is playing and i hope that in the future we continue to play this dual role of business acumen attached to a humanitarian approach